This week, we discuss a classic horror cop, a mysterious occult expert, and a horror comedy legend. Yeah, it's a week full of weird. I bid you welcome to Professor Frenzy's Horror Files for Horror Files, February 28th to March 6th. The great Lionel Atwill was born March 1st, 1885. Atwill was in many horror and non-horror works, and several universal horror films, including House of Dracula, House of Frankenstein, The Ghost of Frankenstein, and Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. But he may be most remembered as the one-armed police inspector Crow in Son of Frankenstein. This role was famously parodied in Young Frankenstein by the great Kenneth Mars. Theta David was born March 4th, 1927. David had a long career, including being in Rocky and briefly television's Nero Wolf. But I will always remember him from his role as Professor Stokes and others in Dark Shadows. We should give Mr. David a hand for playing Count Potoffy. That's a Dark Shadows joke. Gunnar Hansen, the actor who created the iconic Leatherface character in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, was born March 4th, 1947. This role inspired the whole world to do one simple thing. Moisturize. The one and only Lou Costello was born on March 6th, 1906. He was part of the comedy duo Abbott and Costello and starred in the horror comedy movie Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. He also met many other universal horror monsters. His work repopularized the classic universal monsters for several generations, and I salute you, Lou Costello. Cecil Kellaway, the great actor who played the magician Mr. Salvani in Universal's second Mummy movie entry, The Mummy's Hand, passed on February 28, 1973. The aforementioned Lou Costello died three days before his birthday on March 3, 1959. Louis Edmonds, the actor who played Roger Collins on Dark Shadows, died March 3, 2001. Mitchell Ryan, who played Burke Devlin in 107 episodes of Dark Shadows, passed March 4, 2022. And finally, Edward Van Sloan, the man who was in Universal's The Mummy and Frankenstein, as well as creating the iconic character Dr. Van Helsing in both Dracula and Dracula's Daughter, passed on March 6, 1964. His legend will live on forevermore. Here are the new horror comic books in stores this week. Castle Full of Blackbirds, number four, from Dark Horse, written by Mike Magnolia. Kulshai, The Deathless in Hell, number three, from Dark Horse, also written by Mike Magnolia. Vampress Carmilla Magazine 2024 Annual, a black and white horror anthology from Warren Publishing Company. And please don't forget the trade paperback, Count Crowley, Volume 2, Amateur Midnight Monster Hunter, from Dark Horse, written by David Dasmalkian, with art by the great Lucas Kettner. Count Crowley is a great comic book series, and I recommend getting both volumes. In horror music, The Misfits, the horror punk band, released Walk Among Us in March 1982. The album included songs such as Mommy Can I Go Out and Kill Tonight, Night of the Living Dead, and Skulls. On March 1st, 2011, the horror punk band Wednesday 13 released the album Calling All Corpses, which features songs such as I Wanna Be Cremated and Curse of Me. On March 2nd, 2004, the metal band Slipknot released their album Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses, which includes the horror-inspired songs The Blister Exists and Vermilion Part 2. This Saturday, Spangoolie is showing Curse of the Werewolf, directed by the great Terence Fisher, starring Oliver Reed. 
The story follows Reed, who was born of a mute woman that fed a prisoner and then was raped by him. Turns out one of them was a werewolf or something, which is apparently passed genetically. Good luck, Oliver. Turns out you really were born under a bad sign. The sign of a pentagram. Thank you for watching this week's Professor Frenzy's Horror Files for Horror Files. See you next week.